what's up guys after a year and a half playing this game i thought that it would be a great to go over trip type selection again to be honest um most of what i had expected and explained back in the days uh ended up being pretty accurate it's all available on my discord and on all videos if you want to check it out but before we start covering it all, I'll ask you to please check out all the links available in the description of the video. Uh, there you'll find a link to my Discord channel, which is literally the best place to learn about the game, make good acquaintances uh, if you're lucky, and obviously connect with me or the game community. Uh, you will also find a link to my Patreon, uh, for those who still don't know, this is a platform that allows you to support me financially uh, if you can and obviously want to. Uh, but you can also just, uh, like YouTube, subscribe for free. And speaking of YouTube, uh, we still have only 30% of my viewers who are sus subscriber. So please hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot and it's completely free. Now, uh, you're probably bored to death, so let me spice things up a bit for you. Feeling better? Never mind. So, why do I even have to pick a troop type? It's easy. You're broke, mate. That's why. Uh, an army relies on multiple factors to become great. Uh, you have statues right here. Where are my statues? Right here. Uh, you've got, obviously, your heroes that are all here. You have your beasts right here. And you have your research right here and all these elements uh they all require a lot of stuff like it might be resources it might be stones it might be scrolls for the research it might be ore speed ups blah 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 and you simply can't afford to spread uh, your efforts, or at least not for now, but we'll cover that later. So, what do I pick and why? Long story short, you can pick absolutely whatever you want, but I'll try to elaborate a bit. If you go to your buildings, uh, you can check out your troops. Uh, so here we have the infantry, for example. Then we've got the archer in the archery range and the cavalry uh, in the cavalry camp. So for those who don't know, you are you have a little information button right here uh, on the top uh, right corner, and you can check the stats here so you've got attack defense hp whatever and this works for all true types so you can plan ahead and think things through long term now if you look at the troops and their stats you will notice that archers are great at dealing damage infantry is good at receiving it and cavalry is in between. It's kind of a jack of all trade, uh, master of none. Sweet. With that in mind, uh, I'll make some people grind their teeth, but fuck it. I stand by this. Uh, do not pick infantry. I said it. Phew. I said it. If you want to pick a troop type, I recommend that you either pick cavalry or archer at least until you get T9. The reason for this is that in order to get resources and grow your account in the early stage on the game, 
and I insist on early stage, you need strength. Uh, be it to clean wild beasts on the map, or barbarians, or maybe even uh, the crystal mine, actually, crystal vein right here. Uh, because it will allow you to clear the IO tiers, IO la uh, layers. Let me recall so I can show you. And the higher the layers you can farm in, the better the production and the mining rate. And you can also sleep for longer. Like, let's say you want to do an actually decent night, eight hour. You can do that if you don't have access to at least uh, layer seven. And you really want to get crystals and access to these lower layers uh, in order to buy everything available in the in the shop. Or it's the same for Arena, Valley and everything, because this is the way you are going to improve your statues and get better uh, in the game overall. So for that, you need uh, firepower and strength, and you won't get that with the infantry. That just simply won't be possible. Uh, for barbarians, obviously, you will argue and be like, okay, but this is something you can do with your mates and stuff like this. That's true, but you will... I still remember back in the days where we would, like, run all archers, uh composition uh, with my mates just because we couldn't clear level 30 and later on level 35 barbarians uh, although because we are sim simply not strong enough uh, so please if you really want to play infantry just push your archers to t9 first then work on your infantry uh, that's my two cents advice now if you feel like going infantry uh, right off the bat, by all means, do it and enjoy the game uh, the way you like. But to me, it's the one and only mistake one can make uh, when it comes to selecting a troop type. Now, um, Let's talk a bit more about uh, different stages in the game and typically end game. Uh, so yeah, that was all for like beginners. Uh, just avoid infantry, pick either archer or cavalry. And now if you want to dive a bit deeper into the game, uh, here we go. So if you are going to pick cavalry, uh, there is only one direction to follow, uh, and that is because cavalry doesn't really bide well with any other troop type. So you are very likely to just go uh, to just go with this. I made a video uh, about mixed comps, uh, so please check it out if you want more details regarding that. Uh, we will just focus on uh, troop type for this one. Uh, so yeah, the pros of running cavalry is that it's a very balanced unit. Uh, by the way, I'm talking about cavalry and I'm showing you uh, <laughs> the archers. Don't mind me. Okay, let's check the stat right here. So it's a very balanced unit and it deals decent damage as well at defense fairly well. And cherry on the cake, this unit, uh, it benefits from a fast movement speed, which means that you will be able to attack your target faster. And it's a unit that is pretty oriented toward PvP uh, for a reason. Uh, the main reason is because it's not written right here, but some of his heroes specialized uh, in getting battle speed. Uh, let me show you actually uh, Serpent Princess, for example. If you check right here on the sixth skill, you get cavalry battle speed by 60. And 
Battle speed is a stat that is very important PvP because this will decide whether you attack first or not. Obviously, it's not the only thing that will allow you to win a battle, but it really helps. So it's a pretty autonomous troop in both PvP and PvE. And uh, points to running cavalry, if I would mention any, is that you will have to invest a lot more into attack than player using archer. If you want to compete in pure damage, uh, in the early stage of the game. Obviously, this changes with the release of Island Heroes and <laughs> the infamous Serpent Princess. Uh, and another pro, by the way, I forgot to mention it, but Tier 1 and Tier 2 Cavalry have the highest load value in the game. So you've got the load right here, it's 9 at Tier 10, but if you look at tier 1 and tier 2 and you check the load, it's 15. Uh, and for other troop type, you get 15 right here. But if you go there, uh, it, wa it, it is 9, okay? And the reason why you don't want to use other troop type uh, for the load, it's because you don't just get the load with the cavalry, you also get the speed with it, remember? So yeah, that's about it uh, regarding uh, cavalry. If you have any question regarding the troop type, uh, don't hesitate to hit me up on Discord or YouTube as usual. Now let's cover archers. With archer, it's a bit more complex because there are two directions you can follow. Uh, but let's talk about the pros first. It has very, very heavy attack. It's a pretty autonomous troop in PvE. Uh, although, I'll say that it's a bit lacking in the late game for PvP, in my opinion, especially at the moment, since we don't have any decent frontline heroes that truly really works for infantry. We do have tight color, but it's pay to win. And... Wings of Wind kind of works, but it's not optimal. Oh, but well, well uh, I'm not going to talk too much about heroes in this video. If you're interested, uh, feel free to check out my PvP tier list. Uh, oh, it's, it's all mentioned in there. Now, uh, the thing is, the problem with the archers is that they are pretty fragile uh they don't have a lot of hp and the defense is also pretty laughable to be honest so you will want to have the battle speed edge or at least the same battle speed as your opponents uh if you want to be really efficient in pvp uh especially in the late stage of the game now as I said, uh, there are two directions to follow with Archer, and the first one is uh, the T9 Mixed Path. Uh, it consists of, like, once you unlock your T9 Archer, you can start working on unlocking your T9 Infantry, and you then run mixed compositions such as infantry, infantry, archer, or infantry, archer, archer. And this kind of make up for the lack of durability of archers in PvP. And this way your infantry will obviously tank for your archers so they can survive and deal damage. After they are both done, uh, T9 infantry and T9 archer, you just go for the T9 of your choice, uh, infantry or archer, but don't work on your cavalry. You won't, you won't really need it. And then you've got the T10 path. Uh, this is a bit more straightforward. Uh, once you unlock your T9 archer, you just keep on working on them until you, until you unlock your T10. And when you're finished, you start working on T9 Infantry, and obviously later on you work on T9 uh, Infantry, uh, T10 Infantry, my bad. Uh, obviously for the same reason as mentioned early, earlier, 
uh, because you will be able to run mixed comp. So this is the path I went for. Uh, I'm still unsure whether it was the best or not, but I'm, I've had pretty decent results with this. Uh, although I must say when I start, first started the game, we didn't have the green anaconda. So maybe right now you might want to go T9, T9, Archer Infantry, and then work on T10. Uh, that means you're going to get your T10 much later, or uh, it's, I think it's like it delayed them by two weeks or something. Uh, I do believe it's worth it, but that's only because we have Green Anaconda now and the chests are pretty important in the ranking. Uh, yeah. If, if I were to kind of draw a conclusion to this video, is that it is that, mm, honestly, no troop type really is better than another. The game is pretty well balanced and each have their own perks uh, as we saw in this video. Uh, trip type, like, it's more about what game stage you're at, uh, you're at, my bad. Uh, like, for example, in the early stage of the game, I would recommend Archer over other things. Then the cavalry kind of has the edge because you get some crazy island heroes. And later on, uh, it's the turn of the infantry. Obviously, it's not just as simple, but like it's all about the pace and the game stage you're at. And oh, by the way, one last thing: uh, never forget that a game is meant to be a source of enjoyment. So play what you enjoy playing, and keep in mind that every path is playable. So as I said earlier like if you if you want to play something just play it uh yeah uh, i would also like to remember you that even if i don't recommend infantry uh this unit also has its own perks and to be honest at the game stage um I'm at at the moment, it literally trample over all other troop types in PvP. Uh, I really is monster uh, in the later stage. I've seen countless people with T9 infantry beating T10 archer and cavalry. This is just as strong. Uh, this is just this strong, not as strong, this strong. So, yeah. If you end up going for that, uh, you will clearly struggle uh, for a long time, but later on, you're just going to be a monster. Now, if you want to find out more, uh, I invite you to check out my Discord and Patreon uh, regarding troops uh, and be smart make the right decision at the right times and this is the true way to become uh, successful. Mm -hmm.